Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I hope there are no misspellings in my presentation because I was finalizing it <coughs> in a hurry a bit on Saturday. Um, so um, I'm going to talk about um, <coughs> identities or non-identities and, and contemporary English translations of Slovak poetry. Um, my research is based on a bibliographic research, basically, and um, I did some statistics, but in this part of research, uh, which is a bit larger, uh, I will concentrate on, um, on the paratexts. Okay, where are they? Okay, um, on the paratext, mainly uh, accompanying Slovak poetry in post-1989 publications of English translations. Uh, some um, some of the examples, or uh, some um, I will uh, I've also worked with uh, some of the histories, overviews, essays, and so on on Slovak literature by um, non-Slovak um, um, professionals and by Slovaks as well, of course. Um, okay, so mm, the title, as to the title, um, it is a paraphrase of uh, translators John Minahane's um, characteristic of Ladislav uh, Novomesky's um, uh, poetry. Uh, of course, um, it, it is um, rather, um, uh, um, it contradicts itself, right? It's, it's not emphatically, but distinctly. Um, is there a big difference in, in these two words? Because I'm not a native speaker, so maybe uh, I, I judged it incorrectly. Okay, so uh, I'll try to take a look at uh, what it means to be a Slovak poet and inherently um, what it means to be a Slovak for um, an outsider mainly, okay? Um, and also for, for the outsider who reads Slovak poetry in English translation, okay. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm going to talk about a linguistically determined group um, in order to avoid or postpone the problem, uh, the problem of uh, determining an ethnic group, a nation, a state, uh, to somehow avoid um, being overprotective and so on or, um, of uh, one's nation. Um, so um, I, I was uh, I was thinking about um, um, these uh, ling uh, about this linguistic approach uh, because of the concepts of uh, geo literature and the notion of linguistic maps introduced by Lambert and Dominguez and others as well. Okay, um, so uh, identity can be looked at from uh, the semiotic and communicational aspect as well. Okay, this is just the working. Um, Mm, di differentiation, let's say, okay. So, in a, in the sense of an index, it can be um, uh, the identity can be manifested. Okay, yeah, but uh, we we cannot really grasp that uh, to to a great extent. Um, then we can talk about self representation, which can um, contain uh, the creation of an image. And, um, but, but can also uh, be a critical uh, or an attempt at critical self-interpretation. Uh, these two things uh, can be uh, mixed uh, as they can be mixed uh, in, in um, uh, discourse uh, on uh, identity uh, by the other, um, the other, I don't know. Uh, the English-speaking world, let's say, or the Czechs as well, because, well, I'll, I'll get to that. Uh, okay, so I've uh, already mentioned these um, um, basic um, um, facts. Um, okay, so um, my, my research, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, concentrates on uh, poetry, po uh, post-1989 English translations of Slovak poetry. Uh, I was able to uh, discover so far, 90 volumes, uh, mm, about, uh, about 30 of them are anthologies, so sometimes you only get six poems in a book, okay, so um, it, it's, it's not uh, uh, proportionate, uh, totally. Um, the, the, corpor, uh, the corpus uh, contains uh, more than 2,200 poems, which is quite a lot when you, when you think about that. 
Okay, uh, so, uh, but since I'm, I'm interested in the discourse by the other, um, I, I might uh, be, uh, we might be interested in where the uh, poetry was published. And as we can see, 30% of the uh, poems, this is based on the number of poems, not the number of volumes. I wanted to try to be a bit more accurate than counting just volumes. Uh, okay, so 30% um, was published in the target country. Of course, what is the target country? Is um, English um, um, a lingua franca, uh, which uh, can be read anywhere? I read uh, English translations of German uh, literature, for example, and so on and so on. So uh, it is difficult to tell, right? Uh, okay, and al also uh, publishing in the target country not always means foreign agents were involved uh, to a great extent. Okay, uh, so uh, mm, some some uh, some differences when we um, when we look at the the, the general picture of um, mm, lit post 1989 literature in uh, as as spoken of in English and in Slovak. Uh, we can see a difference, which is uh, quite um, logical, I think, uh, but we might not agree with it. Uh, we might not agree <laughs> with anything. So, okay. Uh, so, uh, as we can see from the inside, uh, the, the literature is um, the great, uh, a greater uh, stress is put on um, poetics and um, the style of writing and uh, and so on and. Um, when you look at the titles, okay, these are just suggested uh, suggested names for these periods I invented uh, haphazardly. Okay, but uh, these uh, exist, okay, Mecherism or the era of Mecherism, uh, or the period after the changes which uh, is uh, used to describe situation in the East, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, both of these are uh, politically um, charged or they are based on uh, uh, political um, periodization, periodization, okay. Um, so uh, let's get to uh, what um, I've discovered, let's say. Okay, um, in, uh, from 1989 to 1993, or the period, the Czechoslovak period, post-totalitarian, let's say, uh, is uh, the lists no there are no published book translations of Slovak poetry, and I looked at Czechoslovak poetry as well. Uh, so, um, uh, for example, um, a child of Europe, a new anthology of East European poetry. Uh, Slovak poets were not included. I think the Czech poets were, uh, or uh, the boundaries of twilight. I'm a, uh, contains mostly uh, works originally written in English, but I was only looking at the paratext, which only mentions Czech writers, um, but speaks. Uh, mm, but the general idea at that, that time is that it was Czechoslovak poetry, okay, and literature and so on. Okay, but uh, Prairie Schooner, uh, which uh, it was a special issue of a, a magazine, literary magazine. Um, contains uh, Slovak and Czechs, uh, Czech uh, poets, and they're um, even represented equally as to the quantity of uh, poems. Uh, uh, so, but the editors were Czech, um, and maybe uh, this, um, it, uh, this is what uh, the, the, the strange choice of poets can be ascribed to, uh, because <coughs> Uh, only one of them is an author who is understood by Slovak critics as a central poet, a poet that did have some influence on the further development of uh, poetry. So um, the choice might have been governed by the topics, um, for example, Christian motives. Okay, so we are safe with Christian motives in post-1989 Slovak poetry because Christian motives were or religious motives were prohibited uh, before 1989. So if we are editors and have, uh, don't have um, good knowledge of Slovak poetry, we, uh, we might want to choose this poem, for example. Uh, but there, are also, there is also a Sound Sutra, which um, creates a link to, uh, with uh, Ginsberg's Soundflower Sutra. And there are practical reasons. Uh, 
who was able to, or how many people were able to translate uh, poetry into English, the practical reason, right, uh, in 1992. It was before uh, uh, the, the mm, not waiting for miracles, right? Um, okay, um, and uh, we uh, one of the poems that is uh, is listed is Milan Richter, who uh, was a literary. Uh, uh, he was a, an editor of literary magazine, um, newly established literary magazine uh, in Slovakia. Uh, and who also uh, became an employee of the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Prague in 1992. So maybe uh, he might have been the, the person who was contacted to help with, um, with um, uh, finding some poems or, um, uh, or poets uh, to, um, and, uh, to include. Uh, but again, um, he also lists his poems, but I'm not sure I contacted the editor, uh, but she hasn't replied yet. Maybe she doesn't even remember. So this is just an assumption. I'm not going to put that in, into my paper, right? It's just uh, something we might um, somehow mm, infer from the facts. Okay, so we could, uh, if we, we could sum up this period. Uh, okay, invisibility, certainly no book translations. Weak or next to none cooperation with Slovak agents. Um, if Slovak authors were included, were, they were not included in a representative way. Uh, Czech or Slovak or Czech and Slovak literature declaratively is all, uh, sometimes declaratively mentioned in the paratext, but the Slovak section remains without an overview or interpretation, which is typical of later publications as well. Um, as we can see, if I have the time. Okay, uh, the second period, peri the period of Mecherism, if you wish. Uh, and we can see uh, this is the, uh, there are uh, almost a third of the books were, okay, three minutes, published abroad. Uh, okay, so uh, what, what is interesting about this uh, interpretation of this part is a strong dualism of interpretation uh, from Pinsent or Beasley Mary. Um, this dualism has been uh, criticized uh, recently. Uh, okay. Um, mm, okay, um, uh, another interesting fact. Uh, one of the, the anthologies uh, of the, um, which is uh, entitled, entitled East European Poetries of the 80s, uh, lists or uh, includes a poet who, was, who died in 1973. And he's spoken of as if he was still alive at that time. Uh, again, a lack of uh, cooperation with Slovak agents. Uh, then uh, there is a Traveler's Companion uh, from 1995. Um, the, um, uh, and, uh, with it actually does have an overview of literature, which is uh, great for those times. Uh, but uh, the the overview was republished online on the, the 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 Babel server of the Faculty of Modern and Medieval Languages at the University of Oxford, and um, it was not really um, extended, or uh, only only a few. Uh, uh, words were changed so that uh, it would be more politically correct or acceptable for the, these times. And um, it also mentions, um, I think, the same sentences somewhere, that um, um, there are not enough translations of Slovak literature. But between 1995 and 2008, 40 books containing English translations only of poetry were published. Uh, so then there is uh, the representative, the first representative anthology, uh, which um, is the first uh, book publication of the most prolific translator of Slovak poetry, uh, James Sutherland Smith, who translated more than 30 books, <laughs> more than 400 poems. Um, and it also, uh, he, he also uh, participated in the um, selection process, as the, his introduction mentions. And he very accurately sums up the situation before 1989. Uh, uh, for example, it, this is a very nice quotation. It turned out that all the poets from uh, Czechoslovakia I read in translation were Czechs, as if uh, English translators had not got beyond the first syllable in the Old Republic. 
Um, okay. Mm, so, and, and he also mentions the starry-eyed Westerners' view of Eastern Europe, which can be observed in many subsequent anthologies uh, from this period and from the next period. Even today, in, uh, in 2015, uh, there was an... Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I would. Uh, there, there's been a, um, an English translation of uh, Milan Rufus, uh, of the poetry of Milan Rufus, published, which is very starry-eyed and uh, very um, uh, seeking some nostalgia and so on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And no, 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 no. It was Alan J. Uh, Stevo. Uh, Fifty-two weeks. He has a blog. Uh, Fifty-two weeks in, uh, in Slovakia, I think. Okay. Uh, then. Okay, um, again, starry-eyed, nostalgic. Uh, this is a great event. Again, uh, James, we can thank James uh, uh, Sutherland Smith and his wife Vera for uh, translating this book. Uh, it was published in the UK and in a, uh, a well-established uh, poetry house um, uh, publishing quality poetry. Uh, as we can see, the, the number of poems is rising. There are uh, certain uh, peaks, but I'm not going to um, get into that. Uh, but when we take a look at the number of poems, uh, number of books and poems published abroad, well, the numbers are not that good. Okay, uh, only um, th uh, twenty percent, uh, about twenty percent, were uh, published abroad. Um, okay, again. Mm, uh, this is a very strange publication. It, it, it says it is a, an anthology of contemporary Slovak poetry. The authors at the time of publication, or the, the average age of authors was 66. And it was not really Slovak poetry, it was just the members of one writer's society. And so on. That, that was the, the, almost the last. 